How are we doing? So, of course, the North London derby is finished and it's finished with a 2-0 victory to Spurs. And that was painful. It's typical. It feels very much like deja vu. And I think the biggest disappointment for me is the way that we give goals away. We had over 70% possession in the game. But it matters for nothing when you're creating nothing and when you've got defenders that cannot defend. Spurs had a game plan. Mourinho had a game plan. And they executed it to perfection. They sucked us in and they punished us. I'm not taking away the two finishes from Son and Kane because they were quality strikes. What I'm going to talk about is the fact that we should never have let them in those positions to begin with. And that is the biggest problem with this football club right now, is that we've got players that are simply not good enough. And I have said this all along, and I will continue to say this. If you go and sack the manager tomorrow, what do you think is going to happen? Logically, use your brain for one second. What is going to happen? For around about six to nine months, the players are going to get a bit of a bounce. They win some games. Everything feels rosy. And then the same ones will let the manager down again. This has been a problem right back until the end of Arsene Wenger's reign. You're talking about players like Shaka, like Bellerin, Mustafi, um, Meza Ozil's situation, Socrates. Um, you know, all these players that are simply not good enough for this football club and have all been part of Arsene Wenger's reign. Then you move along and they're under Unai Emery's reign. And then they move along and they're under Mikel Arteta's reign. At what point do you sit there and turn around and say, you know what, can't blame the manager really. Gonna have to start looking at some of the players. Yes, Mikel Arteta is culpable for some of his decisions. Every manager in the world makes mistakes. The fact he's still playing Hector Bellerin, I don't fucking know how. That guy has the fucking cheek to question Arsenal fans. Do you remember when he called out AFTV and he started talking about how, you know, they're not real fans and anything else? How fucking dare you try and tell me I'm not a real fucking fan? You're not a fucking real footballer. You can't even take a fucking throw in. How many foul throws this fucking season, you clown? Absolute fucking brain-dead footballer. Load of shit. Can't cross. Can't take throw-ins. Fucking useless. Go plant trees or do whatever the fuck it is. Just stay the fuck away from the football, bitch. The sooner Bellerin's gone, the fucking better because he's absolute pony. And he's a player that was shit under Arsene Wenger, shit under Unai Emery, and shit under Mikel Arteta. You're going to have to look at Rob Holding's performances now. I'm not saying that he was that bad against Spurs in comparison to others. But is that what we need? No. A player that's there from the Wenger area. A player that's there from Unai Emery's era. And a player that's there under Mikel Arteta. You've got Mustafi. Doesn't even get a game. But where's he come from? You can trace it all the way back. The problems with Meza Ozil now. Trace it all the way back. And Granit Xhaka, a guy that I stick up for religiously. Can't stick up for him anymore. Absolutely no chance in any way, shape or form. Because it's not good enough. Where's he come from? You can trace it right back. Footballers that are just simply not good enough for this club. Under all these fucking managers. Every single fucking time. So at what point do you sit there now and you say, it can't be the manager all the time. You've got to start looking at the fucking players. Because I'm fucking bored shitless of it, man. I'm bored shitless of it. And yes, people will sit there, for example, under Mikel Arteta and say, all right, well, he's brought in Willian. All right? I can say, okay, cool. He brought in Gabriel. So for one bad, there's one good. Not every signing is going to be fucking... You know, amazing. And you look at the troubles that Manchester United have had since Alex Ferguson left, for example. The one thing that they're doing, and it's very evident now, is that they're sticking with um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Maybe they're not completely backing him in the transfer window like some Manchester United fans would. 
But the people behind the scenes are not listening to the Oli out or anything else. They're backing him and they're looking at it for the long haul. And they're looking to shift out all of the crap bit by bit by bit by bit. Players that were brought in under other managers, players that were left and not good enough. And it's not easy when you've got these kind of players on massive wages and you can't shift them. We tried getting rid of all these players that we've been mentioning. But from all those years ago, when Wenger was manager and Ivan Gazidis, the fucking bald-headed fraud, was you know, involved at Arsenal, these players were getting put on over 100 grand a week in wages. Hector Bellerin's on about 110 grand a week, something along them lines. You know, Socrates is on over 100 grand a week. Um, Mustafi is on over 100 grand a week. Kalazinak, there's another player on over 100 grand a week. You know, the list is endless. I could go on and on and on. Meza Ozil, £350,000 a week. Those players I've just mentioned there, all from when it was going wrong under Arsene, are still here now. And they're collecting up towards a million pounds a week in wages. And what are they contributing? Fuck all. That's what they're fucking contributing. The only thing that they are contributing is the downward spiral of this club. That's what they're contributing to. The downward spiral. So will I back my manager and do I still back him? Yes, I do. Because I know the problems are so deep rooted. I know some stuff that are going on behind the scenes with players and that. Oh my God, I'd break the fucking internet if I was to open my mouth about some of the shit that I've heard. And I'm telling you, it's not great. But this is a problem from right back here that's coming right back over there. And this is my issue. Sack Mikel Arteta tomorrow and you will have the same problem. Trust me, in 9 to 12 months, you will have the same fucking problem. It's not going to change. And I can't say no more. We are trying to shift so much fucking deadwood and they're fucking crippling this fucking club. And I've got to watch shit performances like that and people talk about fucking Mourinho masterclasses and fucking Son and Kane and fucking Hoiberg. Ooh, let's run around a lot and I fucking get loads of praise. He's fucking shit. Fucking shit. But yet we make them look fucking good all the fucking time, man. And it pisses me off because this has been something from so fucking long ago. So fucking long ago. When are you going to actually fucking wake up and understand that there's too much shit in this club and too much fucking dead wood? I back the manager and he will fucking get it right. But we need to fucking tear this team apart. We need to fucking get them all out. I would rather Arsenal cancel half of their fucking contracts and fuck them off. Because what it's doing behind the scenes is crippling us. So the money you lose by fucking them off will be so worth it when you get a better dressing room, when you get the fucking snakes out. It's not coincidence, all this shit that is being leaked to the press all the time. Have you not fucking noticed it? Can you not see the fucking pattern behind it? I see it all the time. I wish I could open my mouth some more. I really fucking do. And one day I fucking will. But this is just fucking bollocks. Serious to fucking God, it's absolute criminal, it's fucking shite, absolute shower of fucking shit, and the point where I'm gonna fucking snap, because I've had enough, I've had enough of the same players doing the same mistakes, doing the same fucking things, and I'll revert it right back round to Hector again as well, he's a prime fucking example that wants to sit there and question fans that have ambition and want to win things as not being real fans and he's not a real fucking footballer remember this is the same Hector Bellerin that questioned Alexi Sanchez that said about how intense he was and it gets a bit too much sorry somebody that wants to win is too much for you well fuck off then fucking useless load of fucking rubbish I can't fucking stand the guy can't stand him at all. Don't care what he does behind the scenes away from football. Might be the most amazing human in the world. 
But on a fucking football pitch, you shit. And I only want fucking footballers that are good and not shit ones like that. Don't care. If you're not as fucking angry as I am after these players, then fucking direct your anger that way because that's what we should be doing. Yes, question the manager. Yes, sit there and wonder when things ain't going right. Every fucking manager makes mistakes. But don't fucking sit there and constantly throw it onto him when the same fucking problems are there from how long ago? And I'm not calling out Arsene Wenger and I'm not trying to blame him or bring all that bollocks up again. But it's no coincidence all these players that I'm mentioning that are fucking not good enough and can't do anything are the same ones that couldn't do fuck all under his reign. If they fucking could, then Arsene Wenger wouldn't have been fucking gone, would he? He'd still be the manager because they would have fucking actually produced. But they produce when they want and then just drop and down tools when they want. Because that's the pattern. And you can see it every single fucking time. And of all the fucking games we have to do it in, it's this fucking one. So, I can't say no more. Really and truthfully, I feel a little better that I got it out. But, we lose to Spurs. Another defeat. I don't even know where the fuck we are in the table. I've got an iPhone Plus and I still can't fucking see myself in the table. Absolutely embarrassing. Oh, and I knew it was going to be bad. And I knew that we were going to fucking have these moments. I didn't expect it to be going like this, man. And a lot of these players, they're just so culpable for the mess that we're in. And until things change, nothing will. I can't say no more than that. So hit the subscribe button, smash a like on this video. I'll see you lot soon, man. I'm out of here.